Act casual, Rachel. and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I make videos on travel, fashion, and environmentalism. So if you like any of those things, you should consider subscribing to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be testing out weird environmental products. I've been so looking forward to filming this. There are so many amazing environmental products that I've just like never heard of before or really wanted to try. A lot of these things I got off of Package Free Shop. This isn't sponsored. I just literally love their company. I wish it was sponsored. Whenever they ship, their packaging is always amazing. All of it is like upcycled, repurposed cardboard. It says stuff like, I'm not trash on it. And they don't use a lot of packaging when they ship only things that are necessary. Something to point out before I start this video is that the most sustainable thing that you can do is finish products that you already have. This TikTok that I watched the other day really exemplified it quite well. It's always best to use the products that you already have to their fullest, cut open bottles and tubes and use all the product you can before buying and investing in zero waste products because then you're just throwing out the product and there was literally no purpose for them creating all this waste and plastic and chemicals into the world and it was all for nothing. With that being said, let's get on to this video. It's gonna be kind of like vloggy style because I don't have anyone to film me, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I haven't vlogged in so long. This is so weird. <laughs> all right, so the first product I'm testing out is Friendship Dryer Balls. So I got these off a of package free shop. They're just basically eco-friendly dryer balls. So they replace dryer sheets that you would normally use and apparently they make your clothes dry faster and you can put essential oils in them. That really excited me. I love using essential oils at home. Oh, so I'm excited to try them out. I actually have a load of sheets on right now and I think they just finished. Okay, so I'm in my laundry room now. I thought I would try lavender essential oil. I'm going to put, oh, there's something in the dryer already. It says each ball lasts a thousand plus loads. Directions toss all six eco dryer balls into the dryer and reduce drying time from 25% to up to 45% depending on load size. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know you had to use all of them. Something about French sheets that I forgot to mention is that they do cute little designs on their dryer balls. So I chose pig designs because I thought <laughs> that was so cute. Is this what they look like? Okay. One, two. Smells good. <laughs> Do you know that traditional dryer sheets coat your clothing with chemical softener that ruins absorbency? So all the balls are 100% backyard compostable for their end of life. And the bag that it comes in is unbleached cotton and that is also 100% compostable. That's so awesome. I'll come back when my dryer is done. My laundry is now done. Oh, that's nice. It's not staticky at all. And here's my little one of them. It can smell. Oh, it still smells like lavender. I want to see kind of like if my sheets also smell like lavender. Like, oh, that's awesome. Cool. And like, this doesn't feel like staticky at all. This one's a thumbs up. I'm going to finish up my dryer sheets that my family has and then no more dryer sheets. All right, so the next product is actually my phone case. So this phone case is actually completely biodegradable. I got it from Pila phone cases, so you should definitely go check them out. I've been using this phone case for a while because I knew I was gonna make this video and test out different products, and I really like it. I drop my phone all the time, and it's still completely intact. I have this really cute color, and then I also, I haven't even used this one yet. I have this like nude color that I got as well. They're like softish cases, but I think they protect my phone really well, and really minimal packaging, like that's it. Just this like, this cardboard insert. I would give this a thumbs up. I really love my phone case and I like that I'm limiting plastic in this really simple way. I know that usually you keep your phone cases for a while but I still think it doesn't justify how long it takes to break down because you're gonna decompose before the plastic in your phone case decomposes. So think about how many you use over a lifetime. So this one is getting the Rachel seal of approval. <laughs> okay, so I'm now in my bathroom and the next thing that I wanted to try out were these Toothy tabs is what they call them from Lush. So I got this one, it's called Boom. This one's like charcoal. This other one's called Dirty. So this one is loaded with spearmint and neroli oils. I personally really love spearmint, so that's why I wanted to try this one out. I think I'm gonna start with this one. So how you use it. It says to crunch one tablet up between your teeth, grab your wet toothbrush, and 
brush as usual. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get my brush. If anyone's wondering where my brush is from, it is a bamboo toothbrush and I got it from Package Free Shop, a really great alternative to a plastic toothbrush. If you wanna learn more about like different bathroom switches, you should check out my Zero Waste Bathroom Switches video. I'll link it here. Okay, so, I'm kinda scared. Okay. Oh. It lighters up nicely. It doesn't taste like like sweet, you know what I mean? I feel like normal toothpastes are a little more like sweet than this. I don't know if that makes them better or they just have like sugar in them. It's a very different taste than I was expecting. I feel like I, I give that one a thumbs up. I feel like it's definitely going to make myself feel minty and fresh. Like I feel like it's gonna last. Like I feel like it definitely cleaned my teeth well. Like I like the idea of this if I'm going on a really long trip because there's a lot of like tabs in here. If you don't know about Lush, they actually use 100% recycled material to make their products. So I know this is like a plastic product, but you know that it's 100% recycled material, so that is. That is good, but I like the idea of this for traveling because there's a lot of like toothy tabs and like even if you just did two of these and you were on like a trip for like a month, it'd be nice to put this in your carry-on because there's no liquid. Or even if you just put a couple like in a little pill container. Definitely like more environmentally friendly. Okay, now on to boom, the charcoal one. I've never like used any charcoal products before. Oh, oh, that's a strong smell. Oh, oh. Mm. Is this gonna stain my toothbrush? I don't know. Oh my god, like, I see that uh, black. Like, look at my hair right now. <laughs> the sink and my toothbrush. I really hope this doesn't stain my toothbrush. So, for charcoal, I don't know. I don't know if I would do this one again. I feel like it like didn't do anything that much different to justify, you know, staining my toothbrush. Yeah, I think I would do like this one again, but I don't know if I would do the boom again. I'm gonna give it to my friend. I have a friend who really likes charcoal stuff, so I think they're gonna be in love with this. Overall, two tabs. I'd give them a thumbs up. I just like personally would not do the charcoal again. <laughs> the next thing that I'm testing out is a tongue scraper. So this is what it looks like. It's made of metal, so obviously it's reusable. <laughs> a tongue scraper is supposed to help your bad breath because it like scrapes all the gunk off your tongue. And it's also supposed to help you taste food better. This I got from Package Free as well. And oh my God, my battery's dying. This doesn't necessarily like replace anything in your life, just sort of like enhances it. I've heard really good things about tongue scrapers. So I'm excited to try. I feel like this might be a little weird to do on camera. Okay, I'm gonna film here so you can kind of get a better view. So I'm just gonna wet it before I use it. But yeah, you just two hands and you like, I'm gonna get all the charcoal off my tongue. Gross. <laughs> this is so gross to do on camera. I like that a lot. Like, I think my breath does feel like fresher. Yeah. Your breath is like not good when you have stuff on your tongue and when your tongue is like white. Now my tongue is like clean, so yeah. I really like that. I'm definitely like gonna be using this a lot. I feel like my mouth is like super clean because I just like scraped off all the, like the gunk off my tongue, so. I like this one, this one's a yes. The next thing I'm trying out is actually this dishcloth. So I got this off package free as well. And it just says, a wonderful cleaning cloth for household chores replaces paper towels and sponges and absorbs 20% its weight. It's made from cellulose and cotton and printed with water-based inks. It lasts six to nine months and it's 100% compostable. You can put this in the washing machine or the top rack of the dishwasher to clean and it can be washed up to 200 times and it's bleach safe. I think this is really awesome because although paper towels are paper, they're still usually wrapped in plastic, right? And so I think this is a really good alternative. It's creating less waste. It's actually creating no waste because it's compostable, so that's great. Okay, so I'm just kind of gonna like Spill some water here. I feel like this is the side you use to clean it, but Oh, okay. Oh, that's absorbing nicely. Only this part's wet right now. So like this part's still dry I can still that's kind of perfect like they do also come in different designs. I just picked this one because I thought it was cute. I always think about using paper towels in the sense that like, I don't want to use a cloth to wipe up something dirty like egg yolk or something like that. But if you can put this in the dishwasher and you can put it in the washing machine and just completely wash it out, I think that's awesome. I would totally be interested in buying a couple of these. They weren't that expensive, so thumbs up. And here it is. It's new place in my house. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm trying out is this Raw Elements face and body sunscreen. So I waited until a day that I was outside to use it. This sunscreen is SPF 30. It's good on your face and body. It's good for all ages and it's also reef safe. It says it never runs or stings eyes and it's super high performance. So I'm gonna try it out. It's really cool because it's in a tin. So there's no like plastic waste or anything. Mm -mm -mm. The only thing I was worried about was like how much you can use. So this is what it looks like. It's just in a tin, it's like a cream. Okay, so it's really, you kind of got to like dig into it a little to get some on. I'm gonna see how easily it spreads. Oh, it's kind of like, maybe it's just my skin, but it's kind of like purple. It spreads pretty well. I just did my arms and like that's how much I use. So I feel like this could last for um, a long while. I can't remember it's end of life, so I'm just gonna like put on the screen end of life, but definitely a better alternative. I'd give this a thumbs up. I like this. I really like that it's reef safe. I was really looking for like a good like reef safe sunscreen. I'm glad that I have this now for the summer. <laughs> all right, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you've tried any of these weird environmental products. Also, let me know if you'd want to see me do a part two of this. Like I said before, I make videos on fashion, travel, and environmentalism. So if any of those things interest you, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post every Sunday at 11 a.m., but you can also also click the notification bell so you're notified when I post. Other than that, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you next week. Bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think I'm never running.